our first guest tonight is a six-time Academy Award-nominated actress and three-time Tony and Emmy winner. You know from such films as Fatal Attraction and 101 Dalmatians. She stars in The Wife, which opens in New York and L.A. on Friday. Let's take a look. May I also say congratulations to you as well, Joan? I don't think people give the spouse enough credit. I give my wife credit. I give her plenty of credit. That's not what I meant. I meant, you know, the rest of the world, uh, the critics, the readers, and most of all... Nathaniel, I know I'm supposed to be impressed that somehow you've wheedled your way onto this flight, but I'm telling you, I am not giving you permission to write my biography. Now, would you please Absolutely. leave us alone? made that abundantly clear. Fine, I'm good. So sorry. I just wanted to say congratulations. Okay. Thank you for coming by and saying hello to them. I mean it sincerely. Thank you. Please welcome back to the show our friend Glenn Close, everybody. We, this is, I feel, this is very nice for me because we used to see each other a lot more because we lived in the same building. I know, and Rashid says hello. Rashid is the a doorman who is very dear in, uh, yes. to my heart, and we miss him uh, desperately. And his baby was born, I think he said, like four hours before or after, Ash? Yes, so we, uh, we have children that are very close and the same age, and uh, I stop by every now and then to say hi to him, but he's very upset if I don't bring my children. I'm upset yeah. that, that Ash wasn't born in our lobby. Oh, Axel was the lobby baby. Oh, a oh Axel. Yeah. I'm upset that Axel wasn't yeah. born in our lobby. I know, a lot of people, you know, because we lived in that building for a long time, yes. and then my wife had our baby Axel in the new building, and you guys missed out. We did. Yeah. We, we really did. Because there were, you could see a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a, a wonderful film. Uh, Thank you. That was a scintillating, a uh, scintillating, scintillating <laughs> action-packed <laughs> clip. Well, I mean, it is a wonderful. <laughs> I think that's good. I'm glad you're letting people know that because very rarely as the uh, performer in a film do you pick the clip. You're often finding out right back there which clip it was as well. Yeah, well, it, uh, my, the character that I play is very internalized. So, I mean, um, that's one of the fascinating things I, I, I discovered playing her. So, I mean, in a way, that's kind of uh, in, in indicative of what's... No, it's yeah. not. <laughs> It's a really good movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good movie. And it's uh, so Jonathan Price, who's a wonderful actor as well, yes. he plays your husband who is winning a Nobel Prize for literature. And it's really a film uh, that has a, a, a great building tension as to what it's been like to be the wife of this famous author uh, mm -hmm. for oh many years. Did you, what drew you to playing this character? Uh, well, in, in some ways, first of all, I'd never played a character like that before. I don't like to kind of go over the same territory sure. emotionally. Um, you you know, you're the same way, right? Uh, yeah, uh, that's why I, every day is so different here. <laughs> <laughs> so that was intriguing to me. Um, I also kind of, she, she, my mom, who I, we all adored, um, at the end of her life said, I'm, um, I feel like I've accomplished nothing. Oh, wow. And I think that was because she felt unfulfilled as a person. I mean, she'd been a, a, our mother and a wonderful wife. And, and I thought of her as I was doing this, this role, uh, someone who is in the background holding the coat, helping with the glasses and the pills until it's not good anymore. Right. This film takes place over a very short period of time, mm -hmm. but there is also a flashback to when this couple first meets. And you mentioned your mother, but your daughter plays the young version of the character. Uh, Annie, yeah. th that must have been exciting. It was. Yeah. I was so proud of her. She also, you know, I mean, it's really hard to be the daughter of a famous person and wanting to do the same thing. Um, and I, I thought twice about letting our d director know that she was an actress, because I knew that he was having a hard time casting. And I, you know, I kind of said, well, you know, my my daughter's an actress. And um, that was it. And then, and then she had three screen tests and a three-hour lunch with him, and she got the part. And I was so proud of her. She's, she's beautiful. She's wonderful, Annie. Yeah. She really is. You have reason to be proud. 
Uh, Jonathan Price plays your husband, as I mentioned, and you have never worked together before, right? And yet, no. been in this business for a, a long time, and uh, yes. running a parallel career with him, pretty much. Yeah, we could, we've been in it at the same time. And uh, the, you guys have a love scene in the film, and that was the first thing you shot? The first thing we shot. <laughs> wow. What's that like? Um, well, it was fun. Yeah. Good. <laughs> That, that, I feel like that's a very good uh, indicator of how the rest of the Luckily movie... for everyone, we didn't have to get naked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that would have been... No, no, but it, it uh, you know, I, I think we both thought, okay, we're pros. We don't have to get all, you know, kind of nervous about it, and Lord knows we've done this before, so let's just do it. Oh, well, that's good. I, I, yeah. I, that seems to be a, a good advice for anyone in a film. I mean, uh, done this before in each of our lives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, your, uh, your daughter Annie also got married. She did. And I heard you were, uh, you were reading a book at the wedding, and... When I first heard you were reading a book, I thought, oh, you know, Glenn, uh, you it know, It wasn't there's... at the wedding. It was the next day. It was the next day around okay. the pool. But still, I thought... With a, quite a bit of tequila. <laughs> okay. See, no one had told me that, but I thought, oh, Glenn, you know, uh, she's such an intellectual. She's yes. probably reading a book of poems. There's something that's going to inspire this couple. It's a certain poetry, But we actually, yeah. you brought uh, the book that you were reading, um, now that I know, it's Poolside Tequila Book. Uh, it's called Farts, A Spotter's Guide. <laughs> Fred, do you think you could maybe guess what this is about? <laughs> it seems pretty serious. What? Very, very serious book. <laughs> yeah. So this yeah. is a book. So you were, uh, you were just playing this. Was, were people enjoyed to, to your by your It was show? hilarious. Yeah. Everyone was laughing a lot. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> um, I'm, thank you for uh, sharing the part of Glenn yeah. Close that we didn't know was out there. Were well, you going to do one? Yeah, I'll do one. I mean, by the way, Wait. this is not. They it's also a... have Latin names, which I think. Okay, is, so is here's uh, the flight of the buttock bees. This is anal retentivinous productuli. Wait, hold on. Put it on the microphone. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think, Glenn, I think you wore out the batteries at the wedding. 